you guys so today I'm going to be filming a video where I try Katie Gob Joblin's impressionistic acrylic flower painting course This course is a $7 course that she values at $30. She is a YouTuber who posts tutorials and even demonstrative videos of her painting impressionistically, sometimes landscape, mostly floral. Um, I really love her YouTube channel. I actually have been a follower of her YouTube channel for many a years before she even had her baby and she went on that hiatus. I was a follower of her. I didn't follow her on this channel, so it's I have another YouTube channel where I actually watch videos from and stuff. This channel I just upload and post. But yeah, so I'm gonna try out her class and I'll at the end I'll give you guys a review. So Katie gave a supply list and these are the brushes I chose to use based on what she recommended. She does in her lesson have suggested items that you can purchase, including paints. But I went out and bought my own and I already had my own brushes. So I used what I had and it worked out anyway. These paints I got came with their own brushes. I didn't end up using any of those brushes, but they were nice to add to my collection. I think these are 8x10 canvases I used, but don't quote me on that. Somewhere around there.
When I did the last painting, I just kind of used whichever paints I had left from the previous two. That's why you see two palettes here. We just made it do. This painting right here really stressed me out. I don't have much footage of it because I was just like moving it around, trying to change the lighting because I did all three of these paintings in one day. So I just was feeling very fatigued and I was second guessing myself the whole time. It was just not a pretty picture, but, and I didn't even like it while I was painting it. And I thought it was like my worst painting ever, but like after a few days passed, I actually do like the end result of this painting. So we're happy with her. So this is what these paintings look like after finishing them. This is not varnished or any top coat. This is just how it looked right after they dried. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite? This is what they look like after being varnished. So what you guys came here for, you guys saw me paint, you saw the finished product. Now, what is my opinion? Well, overall, I do think I love her style of painting. And if you ever watched any of her videos, the tutorials that she posts up there, I don't feel like she gave any more value than the tutorials that she posts for free on YouTube. It was kind of like a um, paint along type of course. She didn't really go into depth of why she was choosing different colors. Um, she gave you tips on how to use and turn your brushes, but not so much on the use of color and also why you were turning your brushes in that way. What intention are you coming with each stroke? Um, for a beginner's course, I feel like those type of information will be very beneficial for someone who has never painted before. Luckily, I'm not a complete beginner. I've never been trained at all, never even taken an online class or any type of course, but I've painted and I kind of figured it out through trial and error. So I could follow her course pretty easily and it kind of just ended up being a paint along. Um, I also distracted myself a little bit. I have some fault in why in myself, like I was using her um, painting as a reference rather than the reference. So you can see me struggling with that throughout the painting. Um, or you probably didn't notice, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I struggled with that. But make sure you're looking at the reference to get information of what you're painting. I was looking at her painting the whole time and I was not referring to the reference like literally at all. And I think that affected my painting towards the end, but that's more of my fault, not on hers. And she did a great job of walking us through it. Um, I just felt like it could have been more detailed just to add that little extra value onto it because I don't really see much difference compared to the tutorials that she posts. Um, you know on her YouTube channel maybe it was longer the videos were like 40 something minutes but it's mostly her painting along she wasn't like the whole time giving tips she was just talking through like what she her process like you know I'm gonna put this here that looks beautiful there it was more like commentary on her own painting rather than like giving tips I don't know but overall for seven dollars is definitely worth it um, you get a full length tutorial on how to paint a specific painting. I did have to pause and play the video quite a few times, but I think that's okay and expected. Um, so overall, I thought it was great. Um, let me know what you guys think if you decide to take her course. I will link her course in my description box and the video where she posted about this course. So you have that as a reference, I guess. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave me some video ideas of what you would like me to do in my next video. Bye.